it's Matt at Rough House Studios, and welcome to Cannabis Basics. Today we learn how to make cannabis oil capsules. THC caps can be made from strong cannabis-infused coconut or olive oil using cannabis flowers or rosin chips or both. They can be taken orally to give you all the effects of marijuana edibles without the added calories. Now here's what you need to make cannabis oil capsules. You need some cannabis flowers and or rosin chips. We'll show you both methods here. You need some sunflower or soy lecithin. You need some coconut or olive oil. And you also need some fillable capsules and we're using size zero. And I'll put some links in the description to show you where you can get these on Amazon. You may also need some special tools, which is a small oven safe containers with measurements and some syringes for filling the caps. Now let's get started with the first step, which will be to decarboxylate the cannabis. Now this step is only gonna be if you're using regular cannabis dried flowers and not the rosin chips. You do not need to do this if you're using rosin chips. But you're gonna take your cannabis and grind it, remove any stems or seeds if you have any of those. And we're gonna put that into the oven. What we're gonna do is decarboxylate it, which is converting it into the psychoactive form. Put it in the oven, 250 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. Now, why we did that is we're going to convert our THCA, which is acid, into THC, which is more psychoactive. We don't need to do that if you're using rosin chips. If you don't know what rosin chips are, rosin chips are the byproduct of making rosin pressed cannabis. When making rosin pressed cannabis is typically made with a rosin press machine, like you see on the right there, and then using a amount of cannabis that was about an eighth of cannabis made into a puck and then put into the rosin press machine and squeezed with heat on both sides it's got about 210 degrees in this case with heat on both sides of that plate and it's going to squeeze out the thc oils that are inside of it and you can see it bubbling out there and so what you're doing there is you're making a dabbable form or a form of concentrated cannabis which is really nice, and you can actually use that for edibles too, but what we're using here is the byproduct of that, which is this puck that you see taken out there. Now what's remaining is usually collected up and formed into smaller dabs or pressed out flatter or sometimes used in edibles. And it's a really great way to make concentrated cannabis without using any kind of chemicals. But those byproduct chips are what we're using here, and you don't need to discard them because although there's a lot of cannabis squeezed out of them, there's still a good bit left inside of them. So that's the rosin chips, that's what we're using here. And I just thought I would describe what those are for people who don't know what rosin chips are. And those rosin chips can easily be crumbled up into your container and they do not need to be decarbed because the THCA has already been converted to the more psychoactive THC by the heat of the press. And now we're using an emulsifier. We're using sunflower liquid lecithin. You could also use soy lecithin. You could also use the dry powdered lecithins if you desire, or you could skip the lecithin powders all together. It's an emulsifier that'll help keep it homogenized. And then now we're adding in about a tablespoon of coconut oil. And I'm using unrefined coconut oil because I don't mind the coconut flavor, but you could use refined if you don't want that. And now I'm adding back in that cannabis that I had uh, previously decarboxylated because I'm gonna infuse this all together at one time. Just wanted to show you both methods and you could use either the regular cannabis or the rosin pucks or both like I did here. I put that inside of a water bath and we're gonna infuse that in an oven, 250 degrees for at least two hours. After two hours, you're gonna take it out of the oven and give it about 15 or 20 minutes to cool off so that you don't burn yourself. And then you're gonna filter it through a fine mesh filter. I'm using a 160 micron silk screen bag that is also used for rosin press itself but it also makes a great filter for filtering that out the first filter can be a little crude you might get some uh, pieces that fall through so usually i'll filter it once and then filter it once more and i sometimes use a little bit finer mesh the second time especially if i want it to be a very refined oil and that'll hold back as much of the plant material as possible and then once it's cooled off to about room temperature so that it won't melt your gelatin tabs you can move on to the last step and that is to fill your capsules you'll find it easy to have a syringe to do this and you know use a syringe with a really thick needle or with just a syringe with no needle at all and again i'll put some links in the description so you can find these things on amazon it's really cheap to get most of these things and then you fill your capsules just about to the top and then take the cap for the capsule and put it on there and then just apply a little bit of pressure to squeeze it together and usually you'll hear a little or feel a little snap to let you know that it's securely sealed 
And then you just continue doing that until you have all of your capsules filled or all of your oil is gone. And just be really careful uh, as a tip here not to overfill your capsule because then your Western medication is going to run down your fingers and uh, be wasted on the outside of the capsules. Otherwise, you can use these right away. You can store them for a couple of weeks at room temperature or put them in a freezer for long-term storage. Of course, the potency on these will depend on the amount of cannabis that you use, so make the potency depending on your own needs. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make cannabis oil capsules. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to Rough House Studios for even more cannabis culture videos made just for you. This is Matt from Rough House Studios. Thank you for watching.